Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is actually my second time recording this first part because I basically I used Audacity to record the voice with my mic and um, I didn't know but if you erase a project that you already saved and rewrite and resave it, it just gets on top of the other one and the other one is lost. So I'm refilming the first part. <laughs> Some people have been requesting a anime recommendation video. Actually two people asked me for this video so hi, uh, I'm finally doing it. I hope you like it. So basically I'm going to recommend you guys uh, animes that I like to watch during summer and some of them you can actually not watch during summer but that's my selection of the animes that I love watching during summer because of the vibe and yeah I have all my notes here so I'm going to scroll up because I already did the second part and I just I'm missing the first part um, also um, before I start I just wanted to say that these animes are mostly not like mainstream animes, they're not that popular. Some of them are, but some of them aren't. Um, I've never been the type of person who just watch animes because they're popular. I've never been into Naruto, One Piece, uh, even the ones that just uh, got on Netflix. These I just, I just can't. I don't know why, but it's just not the type of anime that I would watch for some reason. So yeah, uh, and yeah, I just wanted to do this disclaimer because I saw on TikTok um, a girl, she has been bullied uh, because she likes anime that are very cute and chill and way, and people don't like the fact that she likes animes like this. Like, can you just let people enjoy whatever they enjoy? <laughs> And if you like mainstream popular anime, that's okay, that's nice, but there are a lot of animes and it's not because you don't watch mainstream animes or popular animes that you're not, um, like, that you don't know animes because animes aren't just these. So sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyways, I'm sorry. I got triggered when I saw all the hate comments she got just because she liked moe animes, like very cute and chill and stuff, so... Yeah. Anyways, end of the disclaimer, I can now start the video. So the first anime uh, is one of my favorites to watch during summer. There's Nanan Beauty, Nanan Beauty Repeat, Nanan Beauty Nonstop. It's basically um, an anime that takes uh, place in the countryside of Japan and they basically show you the everyday life of these young uh, people just you know, living their life, going to school, uh, passing time, and it, re it really reminds me of my childhood when we didn't have much to play with, we didn't have these, we didn't have the internet, <laughs> um, and yeah, basically we would just imagine things and just play things, like play along, and it was really nice. And it's this kind of vibe that you can uh, get from this anime, it's very like chill, uh, wholesome. It's very funny also, uh, especially the brother. There's like this brother who doesn't speak. He doesn't speak at all during the whole anime and he's just so funny. I don't know why I just I'm always like what the heck. It's very chill. I personally like to watch it uh, in the morning with a cold coffee or like a cold drink um, and it's very nice. Also, if you didn't know, uh, one of the main characters, her name is Renge, uh, her voice was actually used to do this famous like trending uh, TikTok song, but it's basically the one that goes like Nyan Pasu and people don't understand what she's saying, uh, but basically she always greets people like this, she has her flute like this, and she's like Nyan Pasu and it's so cute. Next anime is Flying Witch. This one I actually came across uh, on a friend's story, it was on a friend's story, and I was like, okay, let's give it a try. And I really liked it. I don't remember much of what was happening, just little glimpses. It was very chill, uh, very calm, and it's basically uh, a witch who moved to the countryside of Aomori. And she lived with her relatives, and she's uh, 
like practicing being a witch basically she does like witchcrafts but she also grows her own vegetables she, she learns how to fly with uh, a broom but it was very chill very nice i feel like it's the perfect uh balance between magic and uh everyday life you know it's just this uh link with nature and I, I really loved it. You should give it a try. Next is uh, Little Witch Academia. I know this one wasn't very underrated. Uh, a lot of people know about this one, but I wanted to include it because I loved it. It's one of my all-time favorite. So if you guys like Harry Potter, you'll love this one. It's just such a Harry Potter vibe. I loved it. So basically it's the story of Akko. She, when she was little, she uh, saw a show uh, by Shario, I think. And Shario was this uh, witch and she did a lot of uh, effects and tricks and she was basically amazed and she wanted to do the same. So she went to this magic academia where she meets friends and together they just uh, practice magic and she practices being a witch just like uh, Shario. And yeah, it's very good. At first I wasn't convinced by the artwork because I I like when the art is very, like, in a very specific style, you know what I mean? Like, I usually watch anime with, like, the big eyes, like, very sparkly and, like, cute stuff and just, you know, you know what I mean. And this one was a bit different, the art style, and I wasn't sure, but when I started watching it, I was like, okay. The animation is so good, like, you guys, you have to watch it. It's so nice. It's so fluid and smooth and just, it's so magical and you almost get into their world, you know what I mean? It's very immersive and I love it. Uh, it's not something that I would actually recommend watching during summer but but actually maybe during the halloween season it would be nice but i think i personally watched it during summer so i cried at the end and don't worry it was happy cheers i like to say this because uh, some people when they say oh i cried during this anime i know that i'm not gonna watch it because i tend to avoid animes with conflicts and I'm like why did you cry like I don't want I want to I don't want to cry I just want to watch a chill cute anime you know what I mean uh so I'm always like when people tell me I cried during this I'm like okay the next anime is as miss feels the likes uh it's a very cute chill anime um it's a completely different dynamic uh it's much more like not chill in a way that non non beauty would be but more like you know this show that you watch in between things like uh if you're eating or not even like if you're just bored one summer afternoon and you want to watch something and you don't have anything to watch that's the thing i would recommend watching because it's wholesome it's cute it's uh very anime like you know what i mean there's all the stereotypes of an anime but make it like very cute kawaii uh there is the same word anyways um it's very mue uh it's just the colors i think okay so at one point this was my favorite anime because i loved the aesthetic it was so me and even uh beelzebub i look i feel like she looked like me in the inside like uh, on the outside she felt very like uh, not cold but more like wise and calm and when you get to know her you get to know how she loves like fluffy cute things anyways I could kind of relate to her a lot um, so yeah that's why it was my favorite because the story itself isn't that uh, it's not very deep you know what I mean? I like the relationship she has with Murin, but um, I feel like they could have went deeper, you know, they just scratched the surface, you know, and I feel like I was left with this weird kind of dynamic between them and like, I don't know, you don't have to make them be together, but just the relationship with, between uh, Beelzebub and her assistant could have been a bit better but it was like very cliche of an anime you know like some edgy uh the 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 assistant who kind of like he's like very shy and she's like 
here walking naked and he's like nose bleeding you know what i mean like it's very cliche but it's a cute anime and the aesthetic is nice and it's worth watching if you like uh pastel colors because it's very soothing um and it's very cute uh so yeah i'm not gonna lie at some point i kind of felt bored and like i remember the two last episodes i ha i didn't watch them until much later uh so yeah i was at some point to get kind of bored because the story isn't as deep as other animes and it kind of gets repetitive sometimes so yeah but it's overall it's a nice anime that you can watch if you're bored one summer afternoon so yeah no i didn't want to do this okay anyways uh okay so i just oops i'm so sorry okay so the next anime is um sleepy princess in the demon castle uh, this one, I loved it. It's, it reminds me a lot of As Miss Bell Likes. It's basically the exact same um, aesthetic and vibe than As Miss Bell Likes, but make it funnier and deeper, you know what I mean? The story of a princess who has been abducted by the demon king and he keeps her in his castle and the princess isn't going to sit there. No, no, no. She's an actual psychopath, you guys. I love her. She's just crazy. Like, something's missing in her head, and that's what makes her so funny. Um, she basically... Okay, so during the whole time, she doesn't care that she's been abducted, that uh, they sent uh, people to get her from the demon castle. They've been going on for months, uh, like battling and stuff and she's just there and she's trying to improve her sleep <laughs> the whole anime revolves around her she has like some quest every day and it's to make her sleep better <laughs> because she's in this cell and the, the bed is trash and she wants a better bed so basically she goes around uh, she's very smart and she goes around the castle causing absolute mess she basically runs after demons to cut them open and get the material she needs for her bed her cushion she just uh, tries to find ways to have the perfect sleep it's very funny and cute at the same time and the final anime I'm going to recommend to you guys is Ranma. I absolutely love this one. It's also one of my all-time favorite. I watched it uh, when I was a kid and I decided to rewatch it now uh, with like um, in VO, not dubbed, because I watched it in dub, like French dubbed, uh, and it's much better in VO, you guys. You guys probably know that I love the um, 90s, 80s kind of aesthetic in Japan. In this anime, there's everything to it, like everything from the 80s, 90s, because it's been uh, published at this time, you know. But you can find the sceneries, the music, even the lifestyle. It just makes me so nostalgic of a time I didn't even really live. Ranma, uh, his father and others that you'll see later in the show, they are cursed, basically, because they went to China and they fell into um, the cursed hot springs and basically when they touch hot water they become these themselves but if they touch cold water they become something else from that hot spring so basically Ranma fell into the girl who drowned into that hot spring so when he touches uh, cold water he transforms into a girl and his father into a panda and others are also uh, touched by this curse it revolves around martial arts, but they also focus on his relationship with um, it with Akane. Uh, it's kind of like a harem. Harem. Basically, there are a lot of people who come and claim that Ranma said, like he promised that he would marry her, or but it was his father just saying things, you know. And same with Akane, there's this guy who always, always wants to be with her. And basically, the two they also have external uh, characters trying to, you know, 
Cosmes and um, I really like how their relationship is they actually care about each other so I really like the relationship that's basically it for my recommendations I still have a lot of animes to recommend uh, some of them are actually I think just Nanan Bury uh, the third season and Ranma I haven't finished yet so no spoiler please well, I still have a lot of animes to recommend to you guys if you want um, but yeah, let me know if you want another video like this one and I'll try my best to do it for you guys. I love recommending things. I feel like it's gonna be boring because my taste is very different from everyone, I feel like. So yeah, I hope this video helped you and maybe you found some new anime to watch uh, during summer break. I'll see you very very soon. Please take care. Bye!